let's talk about photos on the Apple Watch, like creating watch faces using photos of the regular and a kind of new way. So let's just get started with this right now. As you probably know, you can set any photo as your background on the Apple Watch pretty easily. That means that you set it up as the background and only the time is displayed on the Apple Watch, so you have your photo there every time you take a look at it. This is the regular way, but there is also a way to set it up using the complications. That means that you use the same watch face you did previously, but some parts of it contain your specifically picked photo. So I'm going to be showing you everything right now. So the simplest way is simply going to the iPhone, which is paired to the Apple Watch and opening up photos, then just locate and open up any photo you would want, then click on more options and you should be able to see the option that says pretty much create a watch face using that picture. And if you tap on it, it's gonna create a background for your watch face and you set it up very easily. Of course, you have some options like you can create the kaleidoscope, or regular photos, background, watch face, and there are even some things like you can even pick the color and give it like a tint and yeah, you can even choose where the time is going to be, but nothing really beyond that. The whole thing is that at the Apple Watch background, the entire thing is your photo and there are some different and better ways how you can do this. So there is this app you can download from the App Store. And what this app does is that it allows you to have a photo in pretty much any complication on any watch face on your Apple Watch. This is an app dedicated just for the watch. It's not like an iPhone app, even though you have to download it on the iPhone, but the only usability is on the Apple Watch. It's not a free app, however, that means that you have to pay for it like two bucks, but yeah, luckily you don't have like a monthly or like subscription plan. This doesn't exist. You pay once and you can use the app forever. That's a great thing. So you pay like two bucks in advance to get all of these features. So here's how you can use it and set it up. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, what you can do and I would advise you to do is to subscribe so you don't miss the future videos and uploads. I think you would benefit from it. So definitely do that and let's continue with the video. You can also leave a thumbs up if this works for you and if you like the video so far. So of course, download and install the app on the iPhone and open it up and you're going to be greeted with a user interface that looks like the Apple Watch and all you have to do is to import some sort of photos to this app from your gallery, of course. So pick whatever you want, like pictures of your baby, of your dog or of something of your football club or whatever and simply import it into the app by clicking on the plus icon and then choosing and adding these photos. Follow the instructions in case they give you something and then what you can do is to open up the app on the Apple Watch. It looks exactly as the screen that you have on the iPhone and this is pretty much what you can all what you can expect from this app. There isn't anything else what you can do with the app. So you have a couple of a couple of photos there. But the great things or the things start to work when you come back to the watch face and locate and try to edit any of them. So you go, for example, here and you just hold down to this watch face and now click on edit. So you get to the page where you can edit the complications you have available and you can choose what's going to happen or what's going to be the complication on each spot. So you can scroll through it and you can see the photo complications right there and it gives you the option to select the image that you have imported. So you're going to go like this and now if you come back, Every time you take a look at your Apple Watch screen, your Apple Watch face, you're going to see the image that you have chosen. And if you tap on it, it's going to show it in full size and in all colors. Right now, as you can see, this is sort of like a black and white Apple Watch face. So even the picture looks like it. But if you, for example, have it somewhere here, it's going to show all the colors that it has. Like you can edit this uh, this watch face and these complications very easily. Again, the very same process, the exact same thing. You just locate the app within the complications menu and click on and choose the picture you want to use for it. You can choose multiple pictures and edit, like add them to the app. And you can even make it change like every hour, I believe. 
that is fine, but I don't think many people would want to do that. I mean, some people definitely would, but for me, it's definitely great that at least one photo can be shown there on the Apple Watch. And I think it's great. It's a simple app. It doesn't do much, but it does what it's supposed to do. So I think overall that it's it's a great thing to have on the Apple Watch in case you want to have like photos visible on your Apple Watch face all the time. So this would be pretty much it in case you liked the video and if you enjoyed it, then leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, then that if you have like a question or something, I will try to answer it. So thanks a lot for watching and your support and see you guys later in the future videos and the future content. Thanks a lot again. See you guys later.